Well, she was told her, her moko koai was scaring children. Now a Hawke's Bay mother wants to meet the women who insulted her. RNZ reports that Jay Scott was asked by two strangers to cover the tamoko with a mask or to leave the Havelock North Park she was at altogether. The mother of four, who was left in tears by the incident, wants to help educate the women about the mana and history behind the moko koai. For more on this, I'm joined in the studio by News Hub's own Oreni Kaipara, who made global headlines after becoming the first woman with the ma uh, moko koai to anchor the 6 o'clock news. Uh, thanks so much for coming in, Oreni. This is a young mum out in a park, minding her own business. What do you make of, of how she was treated? I mean, it's quite insulting and, you know, it's disgusting. Really, it's 2022, and you know, moko kawai wahine in general, and men, of course, Māori men who have mataora are still being subjected to racism. It's racist, you know, and I think she was singled out purely for her moko kawai, and that's not good enough. That's not acceptable. Uh for people out there who don't understand the significance of it, can you ex explain it to us? Well, moko kawai is uh, really reserved for Māori women. It's not for anyone. It's just Māori women, and it's a birthright, but it's not a right where every Māori woman uh, goes out and seeks it. It actually takes a lot. Uh, the, the essence of it really is uh, a connection to whakapapa. Being Māori, which is being Indigenous, Indigenous people, so it's not just Māori who, who have facial markings. There's a lot of Indigenous cultures who are embracing their, um, you know, indigeneity, and for Māori, Māori women, having a moko kauai is actually a commitment to becoming better, to becoming a better version of oneself, to reconnecting to your homelands, to your spiritual essence as a Māori woman. And in fact, you know, the mana of the moko itself, it derives from, you know, hinea huone, our deities, our, you know, our belief systems. And for Māori women in this modern age, it's, it takes a lot, a lot of guts to actually go ahead and go through it. A lot of strength to carry that. Absolutely. Yeah. So to be subjected by you know, societal views and people who have an opinion about appearance, it's got nothing to do with appearance but everything to do with one's own mana. What's going on inside. Yeah. So therefore for people on the outside to be taking offence to it, it, it just, yeah, it beggars belief, doesn't it? I find it really bizarre that people are, are offended by facial tattoos. Why aren't we offended by, you know, the sports uh, players who, you know, sport arm sleeves, you know, whole body, you know, um, it's, it's, it's not just the facial appearance. I, I find it really bizarre that people are offended and it's not a threat, you know, the feeling of, um, you know, perpetuating those prejudices, especially in this instance where the w uh, females, the two women, uh, apparently, you know, told this woman that their children were afraid of her, you know, that they were scared, she was scaring them. I mean, that's their own projection of their own insecurities onto their children and that in turn perpetuates prejudice and it doesn't help us as a society move on, mm. move forward and together, you know, you can agree to disagree, but keep your opinions to yourself, I say. So, well, I'll just get you to to quickly share one of your final opinions. What would you like people to know out there? I mean, Jay Scott said it um, there, you know, to educate. Education is key, and it doesn't mean go to a university or take a course. It just means, you know, look outside your own square or your own backyard. There are a lot of women, a lot of Māori wahine, wahine Māori and tāne Māori. I mean, look at Parliament. We have politicians with moko kauai and mataora. We have sports people sporting, you know, our taonga. So, you know, education comes down to your own willingness to learn. Yeah, and it gets rid of any fear. Yeah. yeah. It just replaces that with respect. Oreni, thank you so much for coming in today.